So, I almost died five years ago. I was with my friends and we were swimming in the river, but suddenly the water got too deep and I can't really swim. So I just started to drown. I started to panic and somehow managed to snap my middle finger. I don't know how that really happened, but as you can still see, my fingers are crooked. And if you can see this one, it's just still not healing properly. Me and my friends joke about it till this day, but ever since then, I was never able to swim again. And it's just because I'm terrified of water. So in this video, I'm going to face my biggest fear. I hope I don't die. All right guys, good morning. It's currently 7.30 a.m. We're going to Huntington Beach to go surfing. I've never been surfing before. I don't know what to expect. This is literally just for a YouTube video, but now that I think about it, I think genuinely deep down, I've always wanted to try surfing, but I've never brought up the courage. I literally don't see anybody surfing right now, and I am so concerned. What am I thinking? My surf instructor's here, okay. Oh my God! I'm so nervous, I'm so nervous, I'm so nervous, okay. Hello, my name is James and I surf. You can change, I got okay. suit right here. So this is your suit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna pull this. Wait, over my... <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I was like, what's going on? <laughs> beat up on day one and it wasn't like my surf instructor's fault or anything but I was overwhelmed there was a wave that was four feet and it went over me and I was started to freak out and panic because I was submerged in water and it was kicking the back of my legs like crazy because I don't know how to swim but James told me if I get wiped out by a wave I just have to keep calm so with that day one was kind of a success I didn't really fully stand but I was committed to surfing this bitch because I am tired of like telling myself I can't do things so so I was quite beat up, drank a lot of salt water, that's not fun, and we're now on to day two. It is day two of surfing for the first time. I am going to my lesson in Malibu. I'm actually here right now, but there's not too much parking left because it's just super busy on Saturday. What the f- I just realized how privileged that just sounded like, oh my god, am I Kim Kardashian? Like, I'm in Malibu and there's not enough parking. Like, oh my god, what? Who am I? My class starts in 10 minutes. It's like 320. Overall thoughts, I give surfing 7 out of 10. The only thing I have to say about it is if you're scared of drowning or if you have any PTSD, it's definitely a big fear of mine because I did drown in the river before and I've had just very bad experiences, which is probably not the best to say right before a surf lesson, but I am just trying to conquer my fear. So yeah, we'll be there in a few minutes. The waves were apparently more calmer and you know, I did the usual stripping in front of strangers. This is one of the most awkward things about surfing. Like you're just literally just like getting naked in front of strangers and putting on a really tight suit. But uh, yeah, I just did the regular routine. It's fine. Apparently in Malibu, the rocks are sharp. So we have some shoes. I'm just stripping naked for everybody in Malibu. Oh, she's tight. Uh oh, I just ate a giant salad before this, so I might explode. But no one needs to know that. Oh my god, it's so tight. home i just finished day two of surfing and here's my honest thoughts honestly i am so relaxed and kind of beat up to be honest like there was a point where i was in the water and the board came and hit my face because the wave was crashing onto it so it kind of got a little bit shook but for the most part it is actually such a relaxing and therapeutic sport that i am going again tomorrow i do have to say like my body is tired and i really do think that like my rib cage especially is kind of bruised which is kind of weird but other than that it's been really good i just took a shower ate some food i feel better so i'll see you guys tomorrow morning for my 9 a.m surf session <laughs> i went to the store and i got this little sanitizer for your ear hey. <gasps> oh. 
I didn't really necessarily feel the accomplishment yet, so I was determined on day three to like really get some waves in. Okay guys, so it's day three of trying to be a pro surfer. I just got a phone call from my coach. Jin, the waves are crazy big. We can't surf today. What? The water apparently is too big and like there's a swell, so literally I might get another concussion because the water was too treacherous. You would think that surfing is great for big water, but if you're beginning, like, you could literally get destroyed. So, it got canceled. I'm literally, like, supposed- I'm driving to the beach right now, so, like, we have to, like, turn back, I guess. But, yeah, I just really learned that surfing is so unpredictable because sometimes it's out of your control. And it's kind of frustrating, but also, like, I guess you have to have that patience and it's a little bit of a learning lesson because surfing is just showing up sometimes and sometimes you can't go and it's not your fault and it's just the weather. You can't control it. I think it's very metaphorical in life. I'm not trying to get too, too deep, but I definitely think like lately in my business due to some external things like the coronavirus and, you know, for my business, it's a lot of client work, you know, sometimes things happen and you can't control it and I'm like that control freak that's like, t like holding on to everything that's like, I need to have everything intact. But yeah, I think I'm learning patience which is not the finest, but I definitely think it's necessary. <laughs> At least I can eat my little sandwich in peace by the ocean. I'm here at the water. It's not looking too good. That's not good. Okay, before I didn't have enough like smaller ways to practice on, I think I'll be, I'm way more confident. I don't, I'm not scared of that. Well, <laughs> well, not scared. Are you comfortable? Oh, oh, well, that's well, I like to be uncomfortable, so it's fine. So, I decided to go in the water even with that warning. Okay, guys, so it's officially 10 a.m. We waited like an hour to, for me to digest my Dunkin' Donuts, and now we're gonna film and we're gonna swim. Hey, hello, ready to serve? I'm ready to serve. Just uh, it's good. Good plot, guys. I hope you guys like and subscribe. I'm risking my life for y'all. <laughs> so this is more intense than our first, the first lesson. A little bit, yeah. Okay. The inside's a little rougher. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Ah! Let's go. Do this. suck today mm. guys day three of being a pro surfer and um it's not doing so good i just feel a little bit unde like defeated and frustrated because i think what happened was i was doubting myself the waves were way more intense than malibu and it's just a little bit frustrating to like get it yesterday but not today and it's not fun i got really frustrated not necessarily the pain but just because i just couldn't stand up like my mind was so like i kept telling myself i can't do this i can't do this and i just couldn't clear my mind <laughs> I got the advice from my coach saying like, I need to be able to clear my mind and just say, I got this right before you go on. And I just couldn't do it. And I was so mad because if you guys don't know anything about me or my YouTube channel, like I've run a few businesses and I tell people online to be confident and I let alone can't stand up on a freaking board. So I got really frustrated. So I just was really defeated that day. I literally went home that day. And I was like, what am I scared of? I decided just to brainstorm what is my biggest fear and what's holding me back from just standing up on this board and riding a wave. Hmm. Biggest fear number one, drowning. Biggest fear number two, probably somehow getting my limbs ripped off. Biggest fear number three, going broke. Can I do this one? How do you mount on a surfboard? Do you guys have surfboard mounts? Uh, no, you would have to find a suction mount and you would have to basically scrape off the wax on the nose and then wax it around. Okay, so not like you guys don't have that right now. Uh, what I do have is this. Yep. Uh, this one. Thank you. Thank you. I just spent a lot of money. <laughs> I hope this works. I just dropped my life savings. 
this purchase definitely scared me because I don't even know if anyone's gonna watch this video. Great, I spent a thousand dollars on equipment, but I know that this video meant a lot to me because it's just my personal growth and I wanna document it. So I knew that even if I don't make money from this video or I lose money, that it's more about documenting the journey. And hopefully one of you guys will find this video valuable. I went home at night and I had a lot on my mind, but for the last day of surfing, I knew I had to give it all I had and fully commit. This is day four. <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm currently getting ready for the big day. This is the last time I'm probably gonna surf for a while because I'm gonna go back home to Oregon. And if you guys don't know, like surfing's not my life right now. I do have some businesses to run, so I like am a little bit stressed out because this is like the last opportunity I really have. And if I don't freaking stand up, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be so mad. I had like nightmares today of me not standing up, but this morning I was stretching and doing everything it takes to do my best. And sometimes it's all about just like showing up because you can't really control the outcome, but you can just try your best. So I really hope that uh, I stand up. I'm about to surf. Do you have any last words for me? The waves are really wild. I might die. Any last words for you? Is this the end of you? The first time you've called me or talked to me in weeks. I don't know why you would do it for the gram. Okay, that's it. <laughs> it's nice knowing you. Okay. I'll, I'll put on uh, the green room event later on this year. Oh, thank you. At least the show must go on. <laughs> I'll take care of it, yeah. You're not going to miss me? Listen. I don't have the emotional capacities to miss or really feel anything anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm here at the beach. This is Huntington Beach. The waves are a bitch! But I am going to try my best. I am really, really nervous. It is 8.45. I have to be in the water at 9 a.m. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And on top of that, I actually have a really big meeting today, which this brand I can't even talk about. And it's literally like the biggest thing I've ever probably will do in my life. So I am just full of emotions and I'm really scared. I mean, honestly, my biggest fear right now is just not committing and believing in myself because it just will make me feel really bad. And I don't know, I, I would like to think I'm a confident person, but man, I feel so nervous and insecure and vulnerable. I'm gonna dive into the ocean and get into my suit. Let's go. Do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. I don't know. I think my main worry is just not riding the wave. It's just getting up in the first place. Like, I don't mind, like, putting my foot down and riding the wave, but, like, you know, like, just getting up and sticking it is so hard. I feel like I'm always just, oh, whoa, the waves are so big today. Morning. Morning. Ready to surf? Yeah, look what I got. Right, nice. Bye guys. Like and subscribe. thing about surfing is like you see head on what you're going to have to face this giant wave and your only options to either ride it or go underneath it and you just can't run away from it and what's really cool is like I really learned for the first time that whatever fears you have whatever doubts you have you're strong enough to overcome it like I didn't think I could swim I didn't even realize halfway through the surf lesson I learned how to swim and to tread water and I could keep myself afloat and not die and I felt really free for the first time and I felt like I could conquer the world so yeah, I guess my main takeaways for this video is if you have a fear right in front of you and just face it head on, you don't know how strong you are until you test it. And honestly, guys, I love surfing so much. I want to thank James for, you know, obviously teaching me how to surf and letting me annoy the shit out of him because I am one loud person. <laughs> but I also want to thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys walk away with one thing and one thing only, which is running away from fear will paralyze you more than anything. Don't be afraid to go head in, face your biggest fear, whether it's 
starting your YouTube channel or starting a business or leaving school like I did, there's gonna be times you wanna give up. There's gonna be times you want to run away and leave. But remember, all you have to do is look at your fear and face it head on. And you're gonna be surprised how far you'll really come. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give this video a thumbs up, please. And share this to a friend. Shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. Yeah, if you guys want to be the comment winner, comment below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.